Hi. Good afternoon to all our viewers. Hi, Duncan. Hi. So today we are going to be talking about Agora and Zage partnership. And our focus is going to be on Agora security enhanced by Zage. I have here with me my partner, Duncan Greatwood, the CEO of Zaid Security, and myself, Abuza Manager, who leads technology and partnerships for Agora. Great to be joining you today, Abuza. Likewise, Duncan. So very quickly, this is our famous, the Agora platform view. Today, you know, we are gonna be focusing on the Agora security primarily at the southbound, which is where we, we have all the assets connected to the Agora gateway. And Duncan is going to be talking to us about how Zage helps enhance the IT OT security through identity and remote access management. On the Agora platform side, the security has always been a prime importance for us. It is an open, secure and scalable platform. We talk about security at the hardware level, security at the software level, data, and security at the network. This security is again broken across security by design, security in operations, and security as a service. So today we want to focus on our IT OT security components. In a nutshell, as, as, we, as we go from security by design, operations, and the secure ecosystem, we want to talk about how our partners in Zage provide a security overlay for newer devices and for legacy OT systems, systems that cannot be upgraded or upgraded in the field. It brings modern authentication using role-based access control and multi-factor authentication to protect OT devices, which is a shift in tradition to the OT uh, identity and access management. On this diagram, uh, which illustrates the Agora overview, our focus today is going to be on more of the assets uh, at the southbound. So as, as we have um, Duncan here, and he's going to take us through a lot more detail, it is my pleasure to, to also mention that Zay's solution provides both physical uh, BITW devices, making it harder to bypass even if the ad adversary is in the field network. Agora provides a secure edge platform for Zage Manager and the northbound connectivity, making this a two simple synergistic solution. Zage provides an upgradable platform that can protect process control networks, even down to individual devices, providing a convenient and flexible option to create logical isolation versus deploying complex enterprise firewalls within the OT environment. I know this sounds a really uh, you know, complex set of words, but I, I will let the expert uh, talk a bit more about it for, for a simplified view of, of what this means. Duncan, do you mind walking us through uh, all this complex jargon that I just shared? Well, uh, I'll certainly do my best, uh, Abazar. Uh, perhaps if we pull our expertise together, we'll manage to be one, uh, one joint expert in, in cyber. Um, but you, you know, um, the, the top level ideas here don't have to be overly complex. Um, as as Abazar said, um, what we're doing is providing this ad additional layer of identity uh, and access control, and really a layer of, of, of control that spreads deep into the OT uh, environment. So um, beyond even the protection that the Agora Gateway itself provides, but if somebody were to walk a um, laptop containing malware, for instance, uh, inside the OT network, how does that get protected? Um, and Zage is here to, to really sort of answer those questions. And we often refer to our approach as a zero trust approach. And really what all that means is that we create this level of enforcement that ensures that every interaction that happens digitally within the operation is an authenticated and authorized interaction and that nobody is able to run riots uh, just as a result of, of getting onto that, onto that OT network. And we provide a very convenient way for people to have single sign-on to all of their devices and assets uh, in, in the field. Um, we're also helping to protect the data that the systems are producing. Um, so again, 
uh, right at source where the data is produced by the, the machines and the sensors and so on, um, we're able to sign and secure that data um, and that will pass all the way through um, the Agora's uh, transport mechanisms and security mechanisms um, to give an extra layer of protection, for instance, to somebody who might be running a data consuming app doing analytics either in the field or even in, in the cloud. Um, and, um, uh, you know, of course, this amounts to a massive cyber hardening of, of customer operations. Um, every machine, every system, every process becomes protected. As Abazar mentioned, very importantly, including the legacy machines. Um, we do have this uh, BTIW or bump in the wire uh, capability that you can add to even the oldest uh, controllers or SCADA systems, whatever else, and give them the most modern role-based access control a capability. Um, and um, we are making life much easier for the administrators because they can define the policies that they want applied everywhere. Um, and we're making life easier for the users. They no longer have to remember a bunch of passwords or remember which devices don't even have passwords. And they just sign on once with Zage and, and move forward with it. Um, and we're also making cooperation easier um, between partners, between suppliers, and we can bring a level of uh, shared access uh, to, uh, to these environments and shared data to these environments that was, was previously difficult to do. And um, I'm just gonna give you one simple example, which is an ex a project that we're working on to provide uh, oil rig uh, security. And um, in this particular uh, current customer, I was just on the phone with them this morning, actually, they have about a dozen different networks that they're running in OT. Um, essentially the, the seismic people and the vibration people and the pressure system people and the fluid density people, they're all running parallel systems there. And it, it does slow them down because, you know, first it's complex, but it, it means that they can't share data and they can't share access to each other's systems uh, nearly as, as fluently and, and dynamically as they would like. Um, and what we've been able to do there is to in, add our layer of access control on top of all of those systems um, so that um, rather than relying on this kind of crude uh, network separation, which is far from perfect from cyber terms anyway, um, they're actually able to define device by device, who gets access to what, which data is shared, which data is not shared. Um, and they, they're able to do now a lot more of their work immediately rather than waiting, for instance, for uh, somebody back on, on shore to to run some additional analytics and come to them. They can share data on the rig, make decisions on the rig, um, and uh, know that they are much more secure even than they were before uh, when they were uh, you know, tending to rely purely on isolation. Um, so really they're able to operate better in a controlled form of cooperation um, is the way that we put it. It's not a free for all, um, but it does enable this cooperation that otherwise is difficult. And if somebody from the uh, pressure team needs advice from the vibration team, then it's very easy to grant access and to provide that capability. Um, you know, in conclusion, I think you know, the, we're seeing across the industry this rapid adoption of innovative data-driven solutions, um, the need to be much more flexible in access and much more controlled um, so that uh, you're not creating cyber risk. Um, and um, really that's what Zage is about. Um, identity and access management that goes all the way into the OT um, and that enables people to dynamically add and remove access, um, add and remove data uh, sharing as well, um, and really kind of enable that level of operational innovation uh, in the field that, uh, that we all want to see. That's really, that's really insightful, Duncan. Thank you for sharing that. I think it is uh, important to mention that especially in these uh, times when the way of operations has significantly changed you know uh, with the current influence of covid especially in the oil and gas industry uh, the ability to provide a security uh, solution across ot and it is in, in a single offering has become paramount it is important to also mention that you know the the joint development of being able to create a firewall uh, between the asset and the Agora gateway using, you know, the, uh, the Zage 
software as well as the ZEP hardware that we put on using our Modbus uh, master slave uh, protocols as well as OPC UA client server protocols capability to be able to, to provide that firewall where the clients might have the need to be able to isolate the gateway from their assets in an event where for whatever reason they believe that the gateway was compromised, which you know uh, is, is, is one of those uh, true demands that have come from one of our customers, which is where Agora and uh, Zage have worked jointly to provide that uh, firewall solution. So I think Absolutely. it is important. It is important that you know in this uh, in this uh, day and age, you know the ability to provide an IT and OT joint solution um, cannot be uh, cannot be underestimated. Definitely. So, and, and you know one of the striking aspects of Zage as well is this ability to provide continuous local operation. So as as Abazar said, even if uh, some of the other uh, resources um, higher up the operational stack. Um, you know, hopefully it's not the Agora gateway, but it could be one of a dozen different, you know, identity server, certificate server, any of these things could, connect, connectivity could be lost or the server could break down. Um, but um, Zage's approach allows security services to continue to be delivered on site and regardless of what's happening uh, upstream, as it were, or, or north of, of, of Zage in, in the stack. Um, and, um, you know, of course, uh, that continuous operation is super important as well. Excellent. So, Duncan, how better than to show a visualization of what that solution looks like? So, let's, let's uh, show our viewers this video of how Zage security solution uh, works on the Agora platform to provide both IT, OT, um, security for identity, uh, access management, and data security. Hi, everybody. In today's demo, we're going to show how Agora and Zage make it easy to provide identity-based granular access to individual assets within the OT, and how easy it is for a user, B. Mali in our case, to take advantage of that access. B. Mali, we log into the Zage fabric hosted on the Agora via a web browser using his corporate Active Directory account, and MFA has his accessing remotely. This single sign-on provides him with access to every asset he's authorized to access in the OT. In our case, that would be the Rock device, which you can see here, and the WinFarm CPU. Today, Bimali is going to be using the engineering workstation to work on his Rock PLC. To do that, he clicks the launch button to get a live RDP session on the engineering workstation. Behind the scenes, the Zage fabric will handle the creation of a temporary workstation account, which will be deleted when Bimali logs out, and also takes care of proper protocol termination without providing Bimali direct access to the engineering working station or exposing any other vulnerable elements within the OT to the outside world. In addition, the Zage Fabric sends policy to the Zage Enforcement Point, which we call the ZAP, to allow BMALI access only to the ROC device, but not to the SCADA pack, as BMALI is only authorized to access the ROC device. Hence, BMALI is able to do everything he needs to do via his secure web browser session. As you can see, the SCADA software shows online status, which means it is able to successfully communicate with the ROC device as expected. Note that even though BMALI is allowed access to the workstation, and even though the workstation itself does have network access to the PLC, BMALI can still only access devices he's authorized to access as defined in the policy. In other words, what BMALI is enabled to do depends not on a network segment access, but on BMALI's own identity. This demo demonstrates how easy it is to create and enforce identity-based access, also known as an identity-based perimeter, all the way to individual assets inside the OT environment using Zage on Agora, and how easy it is for the users to actually use that system, greatly simplifying their workflows. Thank you for watching.